Hello STEM builders and engineers. Today's project is called the Reverse Rubik's Cube Challenge. Now I cannot take credit for this lesson. My son's third grade teacher, Mrs. Duncan, sent him home one Friday with a baggie full of different colored snap cubes. There are 27 snap cubes in this bag, three of each color. And the challenge is you have to build a Rubik's Cube Instead of like a regular Rubik's Cube where you want to have all blue on one side, there's all orange on one side, there's all white on one side, this is the reverse of that. You have nine different colors and on each side of the Rubik's Cube there are nine colors that you can see. None of those colors should be repeated. So if you have a blue on the side of your Rubik's Cube, all eight other colors have to be something other than blue. So you need to have a blue, a white, a black, a brown, a red, a purple, a light green, a dark green. You've got to have all the different colors that are in your bag showing up on each side of the Rubik's Cube. Now this is not an easy challenge. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. You have to come up with a pattern and then shift that pattern slightly on each side. And then you can build this in just a couple minutes using that algorithm. But you have to kind of come up with the algorithm yourself. So take a look at what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to sort my snap cubes by color. And I'm putting them in three groups of three for a reason. Because this is going to be the start of my pattern. So what I'm going to do is take these three, these three, and these three. And that's going to make my first side of my Rubik's Cube. Now I'm going to do the side that comes directly off from this. And by turning it, I see that these three colors have already been used. So now I'm going to have to use either this color grouping or this color grouping. And because this one was in the middle last time, I'm going to use this one for the middle this time. And I can't start with yellow on the top, so I'm going to shift the pattern around, shift the thinking by one. And then I'm going to take my row of colors that I have not used, that is this one right here. And again, I'm going to shift it by one. By the way, when you're done, you will have one cube left over because we're not going to fill in the one in the center. So you'll just end up having one left over. So each time I'm going to kind of look and make sure I haven't duplicated anything on this side, haven't duplicated anything on this side. Let's try this again. Now last first time, yellow was on top, red was in the middle, green was at the bottom. The next time, red was at the top. So yellow and red have both been at the top, so green has to be at the top on this side. So here we go, green, yellow, red. Now we're going to bring that row back over and I'm going to take a look. So far I have had brown at the top, so I think brown needs to go in the middle this time. And then white at the bottom and black at the top. Now this time when I turn it to the side, nothing is duplicating. The lighting is a little off, so this, this is actually red and this is brown, but they are very similar in color, and they may show up very similar in color on your computer as well. Okay, so I have to use this row. So, orange has been at the top. Orange has been at the bottom. That tells me orange has to go in the middle. Now let's look at light green. Light green has been at the top. Light green has been in the middle. Light green's got to go at the bottom. And purple must be the last one. Now, with my remaining three pieces, I just need to look and see which piece has not been used on this side yet. And it looks as though we don't have white yet. And then on this side, we've already used black, so it's got to be brown that goes in this middle section. It gets a little hard to get that last one in, especially if you've built it really well. And now I have finished mine, and as you can see, 
on each side, each color is represented once and only once. I have completed the reverse Rubik's Cube challenge. So go ahead and try this. It's called the reverse Rubik's Cube challenge and I'm giving credit to Mrs. Susan Duncan for teaching my son how to do this. Great lesson.